Minnesota dentist who killed a beloved lion has now lost two days of business. And the impact on his Bloomington practice doesn't seem to be slowing down. So I thought about the fact that some of the money that I've paid him has gone toward these hunts. Patients like Ann say they are not going back. And protesters outside Dr. Walter Palmer's office today urge people to stay away and for justice for Cecil. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily shows us their message and what Dr. Palmer is telling his patients tonight. Their chants were impassioned. All your money, all your lives, we will never compromise. And full of purpose. Extradite Palmer. Protesters called for Walter Palmer to be extradited to Zimbabwe to face poaching charges and the killing of Cecil the Lion. This is just so he can slap a head on his wall. You know, he beheaded the animal and skinned it. They turned the parking lot of the dentist's office into a rally to revolt against the killing and to honor a lion beloved by many. Oh, he's a successful man uh, and uh, he's taken his money and used it for horrible things. And I, if I had it my way, I'd close, I want to close this business. Dr. Palmer sent a letter to patients today saying, I apologize for this inconvenience and promise you that we will do our best to resume normal operations as soon as possible. He's a, a dirt bag, <laughs> plain and simple. That doesn't hold weight for patients who showed up to publicly proclaim they won't set foot in the office again. And it sickens me to think that any, any money that I paid to have a cleaning went towards that sport. Say These pearly whites will be going elsewhere from now on. Drew Preener won't be going back either, but is troubled by the gravity of public threats. I think responding in a nasty, demonic, kind of disgusting way just makes us all look worse. Some of the youngest protesters. It's just sad and mean and wrong. Learning actions can carry as much weight as words. And the protests ended hours ago, but that has not stopped people from coming by the office all evening long. In fact, you can still see people out here tonight. And just a short time ago, two men came up to the door. They ripped down some of the signs that were taped up, and they flung some of the stuffed animals around. Earlier, I spoke to Bloomington police, and they told me people were allowed to peacefully assemble and express themselves. And late tonight, they told me that is still the case here, Amelia. All right, Jennifer, thank you.